No one quite embodied the dynamics of a grass to grace story than Andrew Carnegie. Haven immigrated to America at 13 from Dunfermline in his native Scotland to escape poverty after the first industrial revolution. In his own words, at a young age, I began to learn what poverty meant, and there came the resolve that I would cure that when I became a man. In America, the young lad had to work several odd jobs to feed. He served as a bobbin boy, a menial US textile worker, earning about $1.20 weekly. He combined several positions and eventually joined the railway corporation, where he rose to become superintendent. He invested his income into oil and iron companies. He challenged the monopoly of the Rockefeller family in the petroleum industry. Still, he made his fortune in the steel industry, which made him the wealthiest man in the world. He leveraged the need for iron bridges during the Civil War to amass significant wealth. His steep rise to wealth from generational poverty to amassing a fortune of $302 billion before his death seemed like proper Hollywood fiction. However, his story is true. Although he died over a century ago, his story is infused with several relevant lessons. His life is worthy of emulation. 1. Mentorship. Having a mentor can set you light years ahead of your contemporaries. The privilege of informed and experienced advice is that you will be able to navigate the pitfalls associated with your career path correctly. The success story of Carnegie can be linked with the support and financial support from his mentor, Thomas Scott. Thomas Scott inducted him into the railroad profession and taught him about investment. Scott was the one who gave the young Carnegie the money to purchase the Adams Express stock. He reinvested the proceeds from this stock in the Keystone Bridge Company. The investment in the Keystone Bridge Company turned out to be a miscalculation, but he got the idea that would eventually give him his big breakthrough from this investment. He learnt of the emerging need for steel across the US. He quickly established the Cyclops Iron Company in 1864 and subsequently established a personal blast furnace. He was able to forecast the impeding demand for steel and quickly ramped up his capacity to meet the demand. In all of these, the teaching and mentorship from Thomas Scott helped him learn the rudiments of the rail industry and adequately invest the income to raise the seed capital used to establish his own company. 2. Philanthropy Andrew Carnegie made so much money, but also gave so much money that his legacies remain to date. He was denoted as the father of modern philanthropy. He says, wealth is not to feed our egos, but to feed the hungry and help people help themselves. He was passionate about knowledge and education and founded over 2,500 libraries worldwide. As he attained old age, Carnegie aimed to achieve world peace. Hence, he devoted about $30 million to the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. By the time he died, he had given away most of his wealth to charity. It is apt to say that Carnegie pioneered mega philanthropy. Since he made his money from entrepreneurship, he saw himself as a steward and trustee who merely held money on behalf of the people, particularly the less privileged. Hence, he spent much of his wealth contributing to the public good rather than acquiring fancy properties. Hi there, we are a new YouTube channel and happy that you and many others are watching this. Our problem is that 90% of our viewers forget to subscribe. You can help us reduce the number by clicking the subscribe button. You know we care about you. 3. Diligence and hard work pay. While some may be born with the proverbial silver spoon, others may have to climb the social and economic ladder with no familial advantage. The story of Carnegie shows that an underprivileged background is not a deterrent to success. His story embodied the idea of a possibility mindset. He had a rugged and defined course for his life and started to achieve his goals even at the tender age of 13. He was passionate about his quest to attain wealth as the alternative to enduring a life of suffering and poverty like his father. The lesson from this is that we must learn to develop a sense of diligence and responsibility right from early adulthood. Coincidentally, this time of life is usually laden with distractions. 
But nothing is impossible if you are focused enough and work towards your goals. 4. Investment is key. Carnegie initially worked for pennies but wasn't deterred. He avoided the fast life associated with youth and instead chose a modest lifestyle. Perhaps his humble beginnings and early exposure to poverty contributed to his modest philosophy, but he was smart enough not to waste his money on luxuries. He invested and reinvested before earning enough money to establish his own company. It is helpful to develop an investment mindset. The relevance of investment is that it is the best way to multiply money. If you want to be wealthy, you must master how to multiply money. Investment also grants you the privilege of earning money while you sleep or doing something else. You must resist the urge to splurge out every time on the latest trends, but consciously keep back money to spread into different investments with a reasonable prospect of a profitable yield in the short or long term. 5. Strive for excellence always. The success of Carnegie was not merely because he was able to anticipate the demand for steel alone. He was able to produce quality steel compared to the other products in the market. Quality always sells. Product quality is the most significant marketing strategy any business can adopt. You will enjoy free PR with a quality product because one satisfied customer will eventually market the product to another. You may not be selling a physical product like Carnegie, but you are a product on your own. Everything you do must reflect excellence. Finally, success principles are not time-specific. They are eternal and constant. The same principles Carnegie leveraged to achieve success are still relevant today and will likely remain so till tomorrow. This brings us to the end of this video. If you find value, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Your support through likes and shares helps us reach more people who can benefit from these insights. So, join our community of like-minded individuals on this personal growth and transformation journey. We love you.